Hey, it's Yasmin Tanras with Fab TV. We are on the lot of Brooklyn 99. It is so exciting to be here. Guys, I know it's Brooklyn 99. Ha ha, caught you. <laughs> We're going to be talking to Joe, Dirk, and Joel up next. So check it all out on FabTV.com. No flyaways. No flyaways. No, no I've never had a problem with that. <laughs> we, we have really good people that help get it, get it this way. Oh, yeah, no, it's not. How are you guys feeling today? Great, how Wonderful, are you? how are you? Great, very great. This is very lovely. I'm excited that you have an upcoming season. Uh, how did you feel when you first found out that it was like... <gasps> You go first. You go, you go, all right, I'll go. go for it. Well, I, um, I was uh, celebrating with my wife and a friend of ours uh, how wonderful it was to at least have the, uh, the luck to have been on a show for five years. And life is better and sad that it's over. And I was really sad uh, because we didn't really get to say goodbye. And then all of a sudden, NBC comes in like this, this, this savior out of nowhere. And um, now this is all gravy. Now it's like there's an energy now where we didn't expect to be back and we're so grateful that we are that it's given a charge, this show. You know, we just really um, are excited to be here and I think, I think the energy of the episodes uh, show that. That's where I was. Yeah. Uh, I was at home and uh, was, we were canceled. My son called. Are you okay, Dad? I go, yeah. I go, come over. Let me make you dinner tonight. So he comes over. My wife had gone out of town. And we're having dinner, and I'm hearing about his life. And at about 8.30, my phone starts going crazy. But it's in another room, and I'm thinking, eh, I'm, gonna, I'm talking to my son here, you know. And so uh, about 10.30, when he gets ready to leave, I go, oh, let's look at my phone and see everybody, you know, texting, saying, oh, sorry about the show and everything. And it's Dan Gore saying, check your email. So, uh I was a little late to getting on Twitter, but we made it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was on vacation my, with my wife, and uh, and I was sad, like Joe. I was really sorry that I hadn't had a chance to say goodbye to anybody, but I also kind of took it like I know this is part of the business, and, this, and we were so lucky to have a have done a hundred and some episodes, and you know, the, move on. My wife, on the other hand, refused to believe it. And so I kind of did a little husband explaining to her. I was like, honey, you know, honey, come on. You know, this is showbiz and you got to get beyond. She said, no. And she actually said, I predict that NBC will pick this up. And I said, I swear to God. I know. I, I, I just remembered it. And I was like, honey, it's okay. It's, don't, it's not, that's not going to happen. And then I only, not so only. always listen to your wife. Always. So she had to, she had to do some wife splaining to you. Yeah. Yeah. Dirk's wife, because from what I know, she was the one who got you to write your book that you published as well. I'm, I'm oh. sorry. What was that? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, exactly. You know, basically, I'm like I'm like a marionette, and my wife is somewhere up above, you know, doing the. Yeah, she. Uh, I I'd written up some stories and and shared some all of them with her, and she was my best critic because she'll tell me when something's not working and she'll also tell me when something is working but when i read this one particular story to her she she was in tears and she said that's just so beautiful you've got to do something with that and i well thanks honey maybe i will someday and so with her encouragement and her pushing me i uh, i did it I, I i put together a book and it's an illustrated fable and and uh, it's really a lot of the credit really does go to her I'm singing for the Minnesota Viking Chicago Bear game on December 30th in Minneapolis in the new dome in the new stadium so I'm very excited I about that. I could be more excited. Incredible. We all are. We're, We're so, so excited about this. this. The national anthem, yeah. 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 So it's uh, it's very exciting. I'm a lifelong Minnesota uh, Viking fan. I grew up there. I would go to their camp when I was you know in you know like 10, 11 years old. I would go with my cousin and you know, stand outside the chain link fence when all these legends were throwing the football around and then they'd open the gate at the end. You could run out on the field and get autographs. It was a whole different time. But so it'll be kind of a kind of a neat thing. And I've I have a bunch of family coming and we're going to have a dinner and it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So that's my big thing coming up. Can you top that? 
I no, I can. Yes, I can't. Next week, I'm. Yeah, I'll be directing next week uh, an episode of Brooklyn Nine Nine. So I'm, I'm thrilled uh, with uh, with that. Um, I've been able to look at old episodes and just really kind of get back to what made the show what it is and the evolution of where we are now. Uh, so it's something I've always wanted to do, uh, and hoping to. I'm a big horror movie fan as well, and so next spring I'm hoping to uh, also direct a uh, horror movie that I wrote. Uh, so I'm, a lot of great uh, things happening on on the directing front. Hopefully, yeah. This is yes. I can't tease too much other than that Holt's husband Kevin will be in the episode. So we're lucky to have Mark Evan Jackson back. And um, I just want to also bring up that Melissa Fumero is also going to be directing this season. Um, and so the three of us were so thrilled uh, that, you know, producers and Dan said, yeah, let's go for it. Because I thought maybe one of us might be able to, um, just because it's limited. It's a hard thing to do. Um, we all feel, the three of us feel super lucky to have such support. It's a perfect first directing job. We know the show. We know the crew. Um, so we're excited. Yeah. Um, I'll say with Boyle, he's navigating uh, losing his best friend, but um, gaining a sister in a sense with Amy. Their whole relationship, you know, uh, be their marriage. Uh, I think Boyle is is learning how to. <laughs> to navigate that and uh as well as uh Nicolaj, his, uh, his son will be back and will be kind of expanding that world a little bit as well so lots of fun stuff for Boyle uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trading I'm, I'm sharing now you can come he's, back to me he's good about sharing he's very good about sharing um well, you know, I, I don't know that there's going to be a lot of um new stuff for Hitchcock and for Hitchcock and Scully um but we do find out where these guys came from in the second episode. What, how did these people, if you want to call us people, how did these people become who they are? And um, so the second episode is going to reveal quite a bit about that. Yeah, where we came from and why do they still keep us around? So it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty cool. Bureaucratic, you know, red tape. You yeah, can't, you know, you can't, you can't, can't get rid of it. Yeah, the, the pension, we're there for the pension. Tenure. That's yeah. right. Yeah. We ground yeah. We ground the 99. Nine. Yes. <laughs> With the heel of our boots. What was your most favorite episode that you played in for this season coming up? Well, for us I have to say the Hitchcock and Scully episode which is episode 2. And it's so to have your your name on an episode is pretty pretty fun in itself and then uh, we think it's uh, turned out really well so yeah, and we're excited. Also, we, we also learned a little bit more about our origin we had given ourselves at origin stories that we were working with over the first five years but we, there were some surprises for us too so check it out all right i'm joe Lich hi hi i'm joe latrulio i'm joel mckinnon miller and i'm dirk blocker you're watching, you're watching, you're watching Fab, Fab TV. TV. Check out Brooklyn Nine Nine. Thanks, Andy. Check out Brooklyn Nine. Yeah. Okay, yeah, one more time. Nine, nine, Andy hey, said listen, one more come time. Come on in. We got to do one more time. Come in here and do it with us. No, you guys got it. That was <laughs> That's pretty good, right? Yeah. Let's do it again. Done. Okay. All right, you guys. What a must.